In keeping with current AHA and ERC guidelines, the Autopulse is pre-programmed to a default 30 to 2 compression to ventilation ratio. It performs 30 compressions, followed by a 3 second pause to deliver 2 ventilations. There are 3 audible tones that sound during the 28th, 29th and 30th compressions to give the person performing the ventilations adequate notice that it will soon be time to ventilate. For advanced life support, once the patient is intubated, it is very easy to switch on the fly to continuous compression only mode. You simply press the gray switch to continuous button once and then immediately a second time within two seconds to confirm continuous mode. Once continuous mode is activated, you will hear a confirmation tone and the word continuous will replace 30 to 2 in the upper left hand corner of the user display. During the continuous mode, a ventilation tone will sound asynchronously at a rate of 8 per minute. Ventilate as appropriate during relaxation. You can switch back to 30 to 2 in the same manner. Always minimize any interruptions to compressions with the autopulse. Legitimate reasons for interrupting compressions include rhythm assessment, spontaneous pulse assessment, external pacing, and defibrillation. Compressions should be delivered while charging the defibrillator. The autopulse pause time should not exceed 5 seconds either pre or post defibrillation shock. The timer allows the user to see, in real time, exactly how long compressions have been underway and exactly how long the patient has been without perfusion. The timer records the elapsed time from the start of compressions to when they are paused. Once compressions are stopped, the counter is reset to zero and immediately begins tracking no flow time. The timer resets to zero once again and begins tracking compressions once active autopulse operation is resumed. To further assist clinicians in minimizing no flow time, the autopulse has a pause alert tone as a reminder that blood flow for the patient has been stopped. Once the autopulse is paused for 10 seconds, a single tone will sound. After 20 seconds of no flow time, a series of three pause alert tones will sound. After 30 seconds, the tones will sound continuously until either compressions are resumed or the mute button is pressed. The tone mute button mutes the pause alert tones for 30 seconds only. After 30 seconds, the pause alert tones will resume sounding. As the autopulse is operating, you may see things not normally seen during manual CPR. During compressions, you may see some undulating movement of the abdomen. In large patients, this movement may be quite pronounced. Although the autopulse may look forceful when in active operation, it applies only the force necessary to compress the chest the same amount as manual CPR. This force is applied over a much wider surface area by the load distributing life band. You also may see some arm movement during operation. If necessary, hold onto the arm while you are starting an IV. Large or wide patients may develop minor skin irritation from the life band rubbing on the axillary chest during compressions. These are typically superficial. Clinicians may also see head movement when using the autopulse. Pad behind the head using a towel or cloth as needed. Use of the autopulse head immobilizer or similar techniques will help minimize head movement. Additional details regarding patient immobilization will be covered in the extrication section.